the car's uh the car's glossy black but i'm gonna do flat black so i'm just gonna sand down this one and then uh i'm gonna show you guys how to paint it mix my paint let's uh, cut it yeah to paint to paint these two wings I'm only gonna need about I don't know about this much of paint it's really not that much and uh, this is a really cheap way if you don't wanna I don't like painting with the spray can because like if you don't know how to, if you don't have a steady hand you're gonna have all these scratch marks especially like on black paint so the way i like to do it is uh it's spray paint it's basically your spray can but this one you use it on your uh, your uh, spray gun and obviously when you use your spray gun it's going to be more uh, way smooth smoother so i like using this this is only like 12 bucks so I'm gonna show you guys how to mix it. <clears throat> and uh, you can use a Harbor Freight gun, but uh, they only last like one time. So this one I got it at uh, Home Depot for like 60 bucks and it's been good. It all depends, you know, if you clean them up right after you paint then they last a uh, a pretty good while just can't find my cap where I left it at you're also gonna need a uh, paint thinner or acetone I have paint thinner so I'm gonna use that and then you're gonna need a stick to mix it I'm gonna that should be enough so now notice that I use this much I'm gonna use around the same amount of uh, paint thinner whoops and then just kind of mix it a little bit Gotta, it's gotta feel like watery if you don't uh, put enough acetone um, it's gonna clog up your uh, your spray gun that should be good I'm only gonna use a little bit cuz I don't have the cap for the gun so I'm gonna leave it over here I'm gonna turn on my 
compressor. I'm gonna do the back sides first. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll flip it over. See, it's pretty fast. I'm gonna let it sit for like five minutes and then I'll give it another coat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a second coat. I'm gonna let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, we'll come back, flip them over, and then uh, we'll paint the, the back side or like the top side. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go get some uh, double sided tape, and then once I have them all painted, we'll put them on the car. Should be good. <clears throat> All right, now, the way you take care of these, um, fucking get rid of the old paint, and then uh, use this acetone to clean it up. Gotta always clean it up after you paint because they dry out and then they they rust out and then they get clogged up and then you're gonna end up buying a new gun. So this is what I like doing after I'm done painting. Just clean it up. Usually what I do, I take off the tip and then I throw it in there. And then just shake it a little bit and then just spray it.
Mmm. El otero came through right now. The raspado guy. Rinse the whole thing out. And then fucking throw another another little bit of a uh, paint thinner. Like that. And you repeat the process. You see how it's coming out a little cleaner? That means it's clean. <clears throat> That's it. Now uh, I'm just gonna wait like a couple of minutes. I'd say like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna and solid. ¿Qué andas haciendo? Eh? Yeah, so I got the, the D-Max wing and then the, fuck, I think it's called a 326 wing or a D-Max. So it's gonna look pretty good. You like it? Yes? Is this your car? Is this your car, baby? <laughs> Both wings are nice and dry. Okay. And that flat black though. There you have it. It's the roof wing and the trunk wing. Pretty happy. Not bad for the 12 bucks I spent. And I still have leftover paint for other little parts pretty good pretty pretty good that's it for today if you like the video go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button share it with your homies and uh, stay tuned for more